What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And ho, ho, ho. This is the Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, Cupid's Corner Edition, Titan Style. John makes a great Santa. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys haven't realized already, i got the Santa hat on. I've got my red shirt on. You know, I'm not as big as Santa, but I, hopefully uh, I'm the more... Uh, physically uh, attracted version. He doesn't eat as, just as much cookies as Santa eats, I though. do like cookies, so I could probably could be Santa with all the cookies. All like those it. cookies. And ice cream. So at night, instead of kids leaving out cookies, <laughs> they should definitely leave out ice cream, and I'll come by and just eat all up. <laughs> <laughs> and no Halo. I want haagen <laughs> All right. So <laughs> to get in this edition, all right, so let, let's really get down to the nitty gritty. Why are we here today? So happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate, this is the time of year, okay? So we are almost, you know, we're a couple days away from Christmas, I guess, here. You guys will probably be seeing this episode on Sunday, so it'll be after Christmas. But we hope you guys are celebrating, you know, the way you guys should be. And what are, what are the holidays, you know, what you guys should be celebrating about. And I think that's a big thing, especially right now with COVID and all the restrictions. Mm -hmm. You know, people are losing track and losing mind of what these holidays are about, what Christmas is about. You know, the traditions that go into this. Every year we celebrate these things. And usually at this time of year, people are more nicer to each other than ever. Mm -hmm. And right now, that's totally opposite. Right. You know, people are frustrated. People are down. People are depressed. You know, just people aren't nice. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know what to say. And like, usually this is the time of year when people who aren't nice, usually, you know, they give in a little bit. They're a lot, a lot easier. And then everybody else is really nice to each other. And they pull through because it's the holidays. It's Christmas. And it's a time of year that we know that giving it, it should be a big, big right. thing for people. So, yeah, so it's, it's just nuts out there. So we want to make sure that you guys are getting together or whatever your restrictions are in your state. If you guys are in a different state, but here in Florida, luckily we're able to get together. Um, so the big thing is, is getting together with your family, right? That's Even if you can't get together with your family, let's just say you have high risk family and they just mm -hmm. don't want to come around or whatever it might be. Take the couple minutes. Okay. Or I hope you took a couple minutes because it's going to be post Christmas here, um, to, you know, call them on FaceTime, do your Skype, spend some time, get the kids involved. Hey, look at grandma, look at grandpa, get that time in. If you yep. didn't do it for Christmas, I would do it right after the show yep. because it does mean a lot, you Absolutely. know, and they're, they're, I'm sure they're just upset, just as upset or lonely or lonely that they don't get to spend time with you guys. So, Absolutely. you know, if you guys are in very restrictive places, this is a good time to utilize all this technology yep. we have. I mean, yep. we have all these apps and FaceTime and Skype and Yo-Yo yep. and this app and Bobo, whatever kind of apps there is out there. But there's a hundred apps for you to be able to communicate. So you can't say there's no excuses that you didn't communicate yep. and say, hey, listen, I just wanted to tell you I love you. It's I mean, you know how long, you know how long that, that just one little tiny comment goes for yep. somebody? You know, just saying that you love them, that you're thinking of them, they know you're thinking of them yep. because you took the time to reach out to them. It means a lot. It does mean a lot. And you know, this this time of year should be really, really happy and joyful for a lot of people. And even if it wasn't COVID, it's usually a stressful time of year. And that's because people are going out of their way and they're going in debt to buy a whole bunch of these different gifts or different items for people that A, might not be that priority, that they shouldn't be a priority to them, I guess, to a certain extent where they're stressing out that much. Or, you know, just right now, like, you know, people are hurting, people, you know, are going through trials and tribulations they've never went through before. So, you know, the gifts, I think, well, I don't think it's a big, big thing for people. Maybe for little kids and stuff like that, I think that, that should be an important thing. You guys are waiting for Santa to bring those toys, right? They want those <laughs> toys, no matter what. Santa behind the uh, plexiglass. And you can be creative with that, too. So if you're not working with a lot of money, there's different ways to be creative with toys and stuff like that that you can get for your kids. I remember, you know, I remember when I was a kid, I remember my dad telling me like they recycle toys to a certain extent. They give me a toy one year, I, you know, I play with it for a little bit, they take it, put it away and give it to me the next year. I'm like, man, that's messed up, right? So I never done it to Peter, thank God, but you know, that, yeah, lucky Peter. these are certain things, you know, they might not remember and stuff like that, but there's different ways you can do that, even for your loved ones. I mean, there's different ways and things you can do and go out of your way to do um, that will mean a lot to them that doesn't cost a lot of money or for you to go out of your way or go into debt. I mean, it's a, it's a big thing that I see with a lot of people, um, especially this time of year. And it gets them real down. You know, they want to get these expensive gifts and stuff like that for people. And just, you know, that's not what it should be about. It should be really about getting together, showing people love, and what Christmas is all about. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think that's the most important thing in teaching our kids and our future generations 
what Christmas is all about and not giving toys and getting toys back or, or anything like that, but really the, the true spirit of Christmas. I know that John has embedded that into Peter. Yes. Every year, before he gets any presents, he'll say, do you know what this day is about? It is not about getting presents. And so then he would tell him exactly, you know, he's like, it, he knows. It's not about that. You know, presents is the cherry on top. You know, you get presents. But you know, at the end of the day, even when I was growing up, because I grew up a little bit different, I tell everybody this, my parents and my family, we didn't grow up with money. So I didn't get these big extravagant gifts. You know, they got me things I needed. Like, it sounds insane, but things I needed, like toothbrush. I got a few other things that were necessities. And then, you know, there was one little present that I really, 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 really wanted. Maybe a little pair of earrings with an S in it or something, you know, something like that. And my dad would just put it to the side. And after I went through the toothbrush and the t-shirt and the pajamas and the puzzles, I'm like, this is great. Yeah. And then he'd be like, oh, here we go. One more. I'm like, yay, I got it, I got it, I got it. So, you know, it's, it, but at the end of the day, I had to go through that. So I know what it's like to not be able to, you know, shower, be showered or be able to shower people with gifts. So you have to come up with other ways. And honestly, the way that we did it was that we spent time together. So that day we watched movies. Back then when you could go to the movies, we went to the movies. Everybody goes to the movies on Christmas. Everybody goes to the movies on Christmas. And if not, we got all the family members together. Yeah. You know, so even in this situation, guys, you guys have to remember there's a, a ton of ways that you guys can still enjoy this little bit of time together, you know, whether it's you put your mask on, because, you know, the mask is a thing now. Um, I know that I've begged John's mom to come over because she's scared to come over with the whole COVID thing. And I'm telling her, listen, put on your N95. You can sit in a corner. I'll put a bubble over you. And you can just sit over there and just watch Peter open his gifts. Yeah. I'm not asking for much. I'm just wanting you present. Yeah. You know, because that's what that that means a lot to me. So at the end of the day, it really is just spending time with your family and just showing them you love them because Listen, you got to remember, you never know what tomorrow brings. And tomorrow could bring good things. Tomorrow could bring bad things. And you don't know what's going to happen. You it's don't know. True. So, you know, you have to, you really have to cherish every single minute of the day. And don't take it for granted because you have no idea what's going to happen. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think that's the biggest thing. You know, and uh, if you don't have family. So, relationship-wise, you guys are home together, right? Because it's Cupid's Corner, so we always want to talk about that. What are you guys doing for each other? And like I said... It's not about the gifts, right? You know, are you guys going to make dinner for each other? Or do you guys have a plan for Christmas and Christmas Eve? You know, can you guys go do something? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff you guys can do still. I mean, you guys could, and being in the state of Florida, you guys can do a lot of things, right? Outside, inside. For now. Even with, even with the weather being <laughs> at 60 degrees for or whatever now. it is, you guys have so much opportunity out there. You guys can go out to the beach and hang out if you really wanted to. You guys can go by a pool if you really wanted to. I mean, there's just there's so many different things. So I mean, at that point, uh, you guys can experience the outside weather and not experience the snow if you're here in Florida, and that's a big, big thing. Trust me. Hey, I mean, you snow. It's even in Florida when it doesn't snow, it doesn't even feel like Christmas. It's literally like 85 degrees or 90 degrees, and I'm not complaining for all you snowbirds out there. It's in your and your driveway is covered in snow, and I'm so sorry. There's even a couple people's packages that were buried in snow. I am <sighs> sorry, guys, about that. But we don't get to build snowmen here. We don't even get to have snow fights or nothing. No, no so, snow fights for you. I mean, I want to throw a piece of ice at John. Really, that would be great. Piece of ice. That's, what, that's what I get for Christmas. No <laughs> cool. I get a piece of ice thrown at me. You know, me and John got past the whole thing with um, buying gifts for each other. It's so weird. It's been a couple years and we haven't, like, bought gifts. Like, I haven't handed him a gift and he hasn't handed me a gift. The whole entire Christmas is about his dad and Peter yeah. and his mom, my mom, everybody yeah. else. We just give everybody else everything. That's all right. When it was about gifts, and don't worry, Sharice is not the person that likes to surprise gifts. I'm like, all right, Sharice, what do you want for I Christmas? don't like surprises. So I don't want that, but okay, it's not. <laughs> it's that easy. <laughs> we it do that, easy, yeah. Very straightforward. We'll, we'll go shopping know? together. I'm like, I want this, like, this. I don't like surprises. I don't know? like and, surprises. And honestly, you don't, for everybody else, it shouldn't really matter what they get as a gift. They should be happy and, and, and thankful for the gift that they get, no matter what it is. If it's your grandma giving you socks, right? Yeah. It's still hard-earned money, especially for those old people that are on retirement. They don't have much money. You know, you got to think about them. So if your grandma, grandpa is doing something, or tell your kids, like, listen, they don't have a lot of money. They're on a strict income. And at that point, you know, whatever it is, you should be thankful for. Still but for Sharice, I want to make sure she always has the best gift. So, you know, I'd always make <laughs> you sure. You don't want to get it and be like, okay, I didn't want, I didn't want silver. Yeah, I want to go. Definitely. So at that point, I always take her. I'm like, all right, what do you want? You know. Like, <laughs> so make been blessed easy. to have that because listen, yeah. guys, it was Christmas where it wasn't like that for us, and yeah. it was, it was, you know, basically we we needed to get Peter a gift, 
And that was the main thing for us was priority was Peter, yep. you know, our son. It wasn't about us getting, getting gets to that point. We didn't have the money to get gets for ourselves. And remember we really that? didn't care. I remember We that. didn't care, you know, and that, that's what it's really about. It's like, you know, family, spending time together. Because that time, it, it, it's priceless. You know, giving that time together, that bonding time, you'll never be able to erase that, right? You always get to remember that. That will bring you closer as a family unit or as a couple. You know, the more time you guys spend together in like holidays, you know, you guys will have these experiences that you guys can remember from time over year after year. You can always remember that, even in photos. And so the biggest thing I can say for you guys out there, whether you have a family or you're in a relationship, get the camera out. Yeah. You guys all have a camera on your phone. Get a selfie stick. I know it sounds stupid. Get a <laughs> selfie stick. He right? does it. <laughs> take a picture of you guys, wherever you guys are at, because you guys probably won't have somebody that'll be able to take a picture for you. And even me and Sharice are sometimes like, all right, all right, you know, oh, get the timer, it's shaking. And you might not get the best photo ever. All so blurred, but I'm like, that was a great time. Get a selfie stick. <laughs> For you guys, so when you guys go on trips or you guys are at home, you guys can take pictures in front of the Christmas tree or wherever it's at, and you guys can send these off. Even as cards and stuff like that. Even if you don't want to send gifts, you can send a card, a really nice card, to somebody and state something like that. Even if you handwrite it. Think about the last time you really got a handwritten card. I write him handwritten. Love cards. handwritten cards. So at that point, you know, and, and people are writing these out. Like we did receive some Christmas cards this year, yeah. you know, and I, one that just sticks right off the head, top of my head was Denise Lulas, who's been a patient of ours for oh six gosh, years. Oh my gosh, yeah. Six years or seven years she's been with us. You yeah. know, at that point, and got one from her and her husband. Really, really just great Means people. But things like that mean a lot, and you always remember things like that and cherish things like that. So if you send that out to somebody, they're gonna hopefully remember and cherish it the exact same way. And they're probably not getting a lot of those different things, right? You're getting emails, you're getting Amazon, you're getting Text all this message. stuff. But a handwritten card, ooh, that's priceless. And if somebody, can, if you can legibly read that card, that's even better. Because <laughs> me, my handwriting is horrible, so I just He's admit that I'm right. fine. He's so I like right. to type it out better. But these are just some things that you guys can do that will really get the point across to your loved ones, to your family ones. And remember, guys, if you guys aren't able to spend the time with them physically, Make sure you're calling them on FaceTime, Skype, Zoom, all these different communication platforms that we have out there. And wish for Merry Christmas, you know, Say hi. happy holidays, Hanukkah, you. whatever it is. I love you. I think that's the biggest thing. I love you. You know, I want to, I wish you were here. I miss you. And, uh, you know, they'll love that. I yeah. think they really will. So I think that's the biggest point that we wanted to push across to you guys today. Cupid's Corner usually we talk about love, relationships, and all these different things. Don't can, forget about that Christmas now, bedroom time. If you guys are a couple and you guys are, yeah, definitely spending Christmas <laughs> Eve and Christmas together, you know, making some love, maybe some hot cocoa, if that's what you guys like, or no some hot tea for, for, for no Sharice because she don't like chocolate. <laughs> I hate chocolate. But, you know, you guys can spend some time. You know, make, listen, if you guys do have a fireplace, you guys still be in Florida. Yeah. You got that fire, you know. Throw some marshmallows. Dude, something. have some time together. This is, this, is, this is your time. Get creative. This is your time. Yeah. Don't just be boring and sit on the couch. Do something, yeah. right? So, this has been another Cupid's Corner for me and Sharice. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Titan style the way that we like it and we want to share these different things with you guys. So hopefully you guys have a great Merry Christmas and a happy holiday. So I'm John. And I'm Sharice. And we'll see you next week on another Cupid's Corner.